Good morning, guys. Okay, what you're looking at here is some of my experiments with uh, ebonizing. Now, um, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, basically what you're doing is um, you're trying to stain the wood black without um, obscuring the grain. And what I've got here is, this one here is my control piece, and that is a piece of red oak with the old uh, vinegar and steel wool treatment. If you just Google vinegar and steel wool uh, and oak, you'll find a ton of information online about it. And um, this piece was used using the vinegar and steel wool method. These down here are different tests that I did with iron supplements, basically, vitamin pills. I uh, went down to Wally World and grabbed some plain old iron supplements. It's ferrous sulfate. And uh, the bottle of 100 pills cost me about, oh, $3 and some change. On this end here, I used 20 tablets crushed up and dissolved in one cup of water. The center here, I tried using uh, 20 tablets again in one cup of vinegar. There's virtually no difference. So the acid in the vinegar did not help at all. And on this end here, the lightest, um, I used 20 tablets and denatured alcohol. My thinking being that because both the vinegar and the water raise the grain, the alcohol wouldn't. It also did not absorb very well. I'm going to try lacquer thinner. I just haven't done it yet to see if the lacquer thinner will give a better result than this without raising the grain. So that's how they work on something like oak with a real high tannin content. And uh, basically my conclusion is that the good old um, steel wool and vinegar method gives the uh, best result. And it works really, really well. Here is uh, another experiment that I did with my uh, ebonizing. Uh, the ebonizing with the steel wool and vinegar works real well with woods with a high tannin content like uh, oak, walnut, things like that. But what about uh, a wood that doesn't have a high tannin content? This is maple. And maple has some tannins in it, but not a whole heck of a lot to react with the vinegar and steel wool. This end here is just plain natural maple, not touched. And what I did was I played around a little bit. This section here that's kind of brownish is uh, the vinegar and steel wool applied over straight uh, maple. And um, maple just doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of tannin in it. It's got some, all woods have a little bit, but not a whole heck of a lot. So I played around down here with some stuff that I got at my local home brew shop called, they call it wine tannin. Now that little half ounce envelope there of hydrolyzed gallo tannin, I don't know if you can read that or not, cost me eh, $2.69. And what I did was I mixed that tannin powder, one tablespoon, with, I mixed one tablespoon of the tannin powder with uh, half a cup of water, four ounces of water. And on this section down here, I brushed on three coats of the tannin and water mixture and let it dry between each coat. This I did two coats and let it dry between each coat. And this is just one coat of the tannin powder. As you can see, it, the three and the two coats are virtually identical. One coat, not quite as even, not quite as much of a reaction. So two to three coats of the tannin powder, letting it dry between coats, 
then just one coat of the ebonizing steel wool and vinegar mixture just really made it come alive and ebonize that real nice now again because it's all water based it will raise the grain so you have to take a little bit of care on that of course I got such a good result with the uh, with the maple that I had to try it on something that was really had a real low tanning content so I played around with this piece of poplar here this is untreated with the tannins. I used no wood tannin here. I just brushed it with the uh, vinegar steel wool mixture. Here, using the same mixture that I used on the maple, this is two coats of the tannin mixture and then one coat of the vinegar steel wool. I've yet to see poplar come out looking that even and that nice. I could actually get used to that. So, just throwing some info out there, and you can see the even on the masking tape where it leached under, and on the masking tape there where I, uh, where the brushes, oh, brush marks overlapped. So, there you go, vinegar and steel wool, and on low tannin woods, a little bit of tannin uh, mixed with water and it really wakes it right up and um, just in goofing around that's one of the little cedar blocks that some cigar boxes come in uh, this was not done scientifically or otherwise I was using this to stir up my iron supplement and uh, water uh, mixture and just to see what would happen after this dried for about oh four or five days I just dipped that into the wood tannin, and you can see where it just really woke right up. And that's just one of those cedar blocks. This, that's just, I was stirring up the tannin mixture. So, it's great to play with. And um, now knowing what I know on this, ebonizing woods is going to be real easy. The... Uh, I'll say it right here and right now, there are no wood stains applied to anything here. None of these have a wood stain on them. It's all the uh, iron supplements on this or the vinegar and steel wool on that and all vinegar and steel wool here and here and here. Well, here and here. This one, that is the iron supplement with the tannin. So, um, might give you some options, uh, and it's fun to play with. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.